Eastern Commitments. Got an AC down. Summer is uh, definitely upon us, but uh, it's nice and early in the morning. And uh, I'm gonna check this out. Got kind of an intermittent problem and wanted to talk to you a little bit about intermittent problems. I haven't pulled the disconnect yet. Nothing's turned on, but if you got an intermittent AC, you definitely want to suspect the contactor. Now, if a unit was getting hot first and overheating inside, then it could be the capacitor for the fan if that stopped running. And what happens sometimes is it'll overheat, fan motor stops as the uh, capacitor loses its phase, doesn't start in the proper situation, kind of like uh, the timing off on the car or something like that. Anyway, then the compressor will start to bring heat into the unit as the fan, fan motor won't be removing heat from the unit. Now, it's when the contactor's not sucked in. So, or is it? Now, it is sucked in, but the unit's not running. Let's take a look here. Contactor does not look too bad, but that is the suspect here. Are we getting voltage? Across the line. Now our hard start kit's hanging, so we should secure that better. That fan cap looks pretty suspect and also should mount it to the side here uh, with some cable ties or some cable strapping instead. Um, you know, when you're not sure of something like this, it might be a good idea just to replace everything. Just do a buckshot, hit your Replace your contactor, replace the capacitors, and replace the hard start kit. It's not a bad idea to make sure you have less problems. And the other thing to look for is any burned wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and trace the disconnect back, which is this one here. We'll pull the disconnect. It's possible we blew fuses as well. So I can check those. The multimeter. I can also check our capacitors and such. Here's my multimeter set to ohms. We're okay there. And we are blown here. So we got one bad fuse. So that's problem number one. Okay. We'll change that one out. And on something like this, at this point, I'd probably suspect that fan capacitor. Got a new fuse that I know is good here. Go ahead and pop that in. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. If not, we can pop this back apart and squeeze it up a little. This one, I'd like to see it a little tighter. You can also tighten these down. Okay, there's that. And next we can test our capacitors. So we're going to discharge the capacitor. Capacitors hold the charge in them even after the power is disconnected. So it's a good idea to discharge them. Bridging both leads with the metal portion of your screwdriver, you're only holding the uh, insulated portion of the screwdriver. Next, to test the capacitance on the my meter's talking. Test the capacitance on the capacitor. We'll need to remove at least one side's set of wires. So we've got a hard start kit and the start wire on this 35 microfarad capacitor on one side and then the purple and blue is our common on the other side and I'm actually going to be just changing these out as a matter of preventative maintenance anyway but I thought I'd just show you real quick the capacitance test so we set our meter to microfarads and then we're going to go one lead to each side of our capacitor and we are showing a bad cap. 
like I said, I'm just going to be changing it out anyway. This is a 35, this is a 5. You always want to match your microfarad settings. You can go up in the voltage settings, but you always want to match the microfarad settings. My suspicion is really that the fan motor wasn't starting here. And that's the main culprit, but again, I uh, can change you know, each thing. The contactor actually looks okay, so normally I would change that out, but since it looks okay, I'm actually going to leave it. I brought one just in case, but don't need it. So we've got a 35, and then I need a 5 microfarad capacitor, and then I need some cable ties. And I'm hoping I have some cable ties. Yes, I do. So that's good. So I'm going to wrap my cable tie in right here. That's going to be where our capacitor is going to go. And as well as we're going to change this other one. Got folks without AC inside, so I'm kind of trying to do this quickly. Okay, the common on Goodman units is uh, usually purple and, and red. Other units will use different water colors, which kind of sucks. But yeah, we got a bulged capacitor there. Looks like that was a bad cap. Anyway, here's our perm wire or the start wire to the compressor. It goes on its own side. And then here's the common leads that go on their side. And then we can put a hard start kit on. And that'll bridge the leads. Not bridge the leads, but it'll go one, one side to each side hard start kit. My units always seem to need a hard start kit. It helps assist the compressor as it starts. Here's my new hard start kit. It's got a little multi-port side. I'll usually put that with the common side since if you ever needed to add anything it would be on that common side. Anyway, I've just gone one lead to each side there and we can tuck our hard start kit in right here. There we go. Now we're ready for the fan cap. Like somebody has really wrapped up here. Need one lead to each side. There's that side, and that side, and we're in. Next, I'm going to mount our capacitor. For this one, I'm going to have to go this way, which is okay. In there, nice and tight, and we're ready to and test it out and we should peek real quick at our compressor leads just to make sure everything's okay especially since it's fairly easy to get to this one everything looks okay there nothing's touching nothing's burned off all right we're ready to fire it up again my suspicion was it was this fan cap which uh caused the feel to overheat and blow the fuses. So here goes. We need to test it out. Protective cover in there. And here we go. Started right up, no problem. Like I said, I bet you that's what it was. So we've now successfully restored AC. We're good to go. It's nice and cold, really, really cold. 
since again since everything was working before that is uh most likely what it was the intermittent problem was probably the the uh capacitor blue but it's possible that other cap here and I'll just test this 35 as well. It's possible that we just had a high amp draw with the capacitor not working properly. So here goes a little five. We're showing two. Oh we're showing 4.88. So that's not too bad actually. And here's our other cap. Should be 35. Definitely a bad cap there. Change it out, we're good to go. Gonna live, gonna work, gonna keep things cool for the summer. It's nice and cold. Thanks for watching, Kung Fu Maintenance, over and out. Good old Palm Springs Day.